Welcome back to part two of our Whitsundays adventure. So now we're at the northern part of the Whitsundays in Bowen. Now this is just a sleepy little town. There's not a lot to do here, but there are some magnificent beaches. Uh, so we're going to show those to you this week. So please enjoy. Why couldn't you fly the drone? Because we are in the flight path of the Bowen Airport. So pretty much the planes come straight over the top of here heading towards the airport. But you go about 20 metres out there off the water and you're actually out of the flight path. But you can't take off from here so. I'll see if we can go around. Yes, we'll go find some other footage somewhere else. So Horseshoe Bay was actually really beautiful, but unfortunately the camera doesn't really show that. It would have looked a lot better from the air, but as we said, you actually couldn't fly the drone because we're in the no-fly zone. So anyway, there is a lookout not far from there, so we actually are taking that path up at the moment to try and get a better view. It's actually quite hilly and rocky, so it did give you a bit of a workout. Uh, unfortunately, spoiler, we couldn't use the drone up there either, but we will show you what it looks like. Yeah, my body doesn't love steps. I can feel my heart racing already. What is that? Oh, you're right. Yeah. We're at halfway. Oh, jeez. That's my mom. Yes, Hudson. We just got here. Huh? I said we just got here. I want to go back down there. Of course you do. How pretty is it? Here's the sketchy sign to the beach. 
Yeah, that looks like it's a good time. How clear like that water that. is. Does it feel nice? Yeah, it's nice. It's shallow. Oh yeah, that's not even cold. Right. Perfect room temperature. There's all these sketchy things <laughs> that say nude beach and if you look over here it also says nude beach, so, but I mean it was a sketchy thing that let us down here that just said beach. Yeah. So we're trying to work out where the nude beach is. We don't want to go to the nude beach, we have a kid with us, so we want to stay away. So it says you can go this way, or you can go up there, and if you can see up the top there is a little arrow. So um, we're thinking maybe that's the high tide path. And that's the low tide path. It's definitely far away from people. You gotta go down the little goat track and then through a few bays to get there, so it would make sense, but I do wonder if it's official though, seeing as it's written in spray paint. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure the camera was working before when I was trying to show you this sketchy goat track we had to take down to the beach. So I'm gonna show you just on the way back. But Ugh. There's literally a train here to help you get up. So, ugh, need that hold in the camera. Every now and then there's some proper stairs. But if you and far between. Careful, Hudson. I said, careful. Right, proper goat track. Okay, so we've actually realized now we've gone up and down the sketchy track that if we had just followed it around to the resort, um, yeah, you could have just gotten down to the beach like this. Yeah, don't follow the sketchy tracks. This is a super skinny little track. It's called Murray's Road. It goes out to Murray's Bay. So this is the walking track to Murray Bay Lookout or Rose Bay. Rose Bay is quite far and it's got a graded four track. So we might just uh, leave that and drive down there. What are we doing? Are we going to the beaches? Yeah, we're going to the beach. And what else are we doing? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. Great. The goats are down here. The goats are down here? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we've been telling him that we've gone down a goat track because the road to get in was a little one-way goat track looking thing and so now he thinks we're gonna actually find some goats. Okay so apparently this track is a grade 4 as well but I don't think we have to go very far but it is a bit rutty. I would recommend not wearing thongs, especially if it's wet. We were supposed to put our reef shoes on and forgot.
That is some beautiful private property. The back's right onto the beach. This is Murray Bay. Another little walk, a bit of an adventure, but look how beautiful it is. So we've just done all the walks out to the bays and now we've come down to Rose Bay to have some lunch. And Wikicamp said there were showers, toilets, you know, everything here. And we got here and everything is here except the toilets. So Dion has gone off to drive to find some. Uh, and Hudson is not happy about it because now a caravan has come and parked in his spot. What's wrong, Hudson? When they started to park there. Oh, have they parked in Daddy's spot? Yeah. That caravan? Yeah. Oh, Daddy will be back soon. He'll park somewhere else. Is that okay? But I want him to park right there. Why? Because I do. Oh. Maybe they'll go in a minute. Sound good? Yeah. So we have officially become our parents. Uh, to save money while we're traveling, we noticed we were eating out a lot in the first week for lunch. So we actually now have wraps and cheese, which we don't buy shredded, we grate ourselves. Um, Come and on, we're being is, cheap. And an assortment of salads and stuff all in containers in the car. And then when we pull up at beautiful places like this, we can just get lunch out instead of driving into town and spending God knows how much on food. We had breakfast in Ellie Beach the other day and it cost us $70 and it didn't even taste any good. So, yep, we do this and it helps because Hudson is eating like a crazy amount of food. He must be growing again. Isn't this the life, hey? We are at Dalrymple Point and over there is North Head Island and on top of that is North Head Island lighthouse now once a year um, the tide gets low enough that you can actually walk over there um, so it's June at the moment and you can do it July through August so we've just missed out which is a bit annoying but apparently there are amazing um, big red starfish and whatnot that you can see on the way over so we're gonna do a Jerome flyover and have a look uh, but it's definitely not low enough for us to walk today Thanks for watching. If you liked our videos, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll catch you on the next video.